Today's episode is going to be a little scary, so I'm just letting you guys know this right now that if you suffer from night terrors, sleep paralysis, this episode may trigger something. So viewer discretion is advised, just letting you guys know that right now. Dreams, we all have them, we all experience them. Nightmares, they suck. And sometimes they come in handy because they can be a warning. And today we're going to talk about some of these nightmares that people have had, and there's just been warnings about what was going to happen or what happened. These stories I'm about to tell you are actually stories that people told me and I have remembered them for forever these stories really scare the freak out of me like i'm not even gonna lie we all want our bedroom to be our safe heaven we all want to feel safe here so when we go to sleep we want to feel protected and comfortable but when you get a nightmare it just sucks you know you you feel something weird you wake up from the nightmare you're like man something oh you just feel uneasy you feel something heavy over you and let alone imagine if you get sleep paralysis or, or night terrors then you're literally fighting an uphill battle of going back to sleep or should you go back to sleep before i continue don't forget to like this video subscribe to his youtube channel Tell your friends about the spooky channel and go grab some snacks, go grab something to drink and turn on the lights and let's just talk about something spooky. Now, this first story I'm about to tell you takes place in Guatemala. Now, my dad's from Guatemala. So during the summers, I would spend a lot of time in Guatemala studying music and touring and traveling and just being very, you know, nature-y, outdoorsy. But my bass teacher, my first bass teacher, first bass mentor of many, many years told me something that happened, which was crazy. I remember one morning, I wake up from a phone call from my teacher and he's like, yo, Leo, I'm sorry, I can't make it to class this morning because I got in a really bad car accident and I'm like you know I was 13 14 I was like oh man are you okay uh, no no worries he's like yeah hey uh, tomorrow I'll see you but you know just pray for me brother and I'm like yeah brother I'll pray for you don't worry God bless I'll see you tomorrow great so tomorrow comes around and he's waiting for me there in the in the, in the classroom and I sit down at my base I'm like yo bro what happened he's like get ready to hear the craziest story ever and I'm like okay again my base teacher loves horror as well so I was I knew it was gonna be a good spooky story so he sits me down and he starts telling me the story so my base teacher would drive 45 minutes to get to our classroom which was in the, in the capital of guatemala guatemala city and he would drive from esquintla and for those 45 minutes it's pretty much all just forests and trees and swirls and all you know twisties and turns and and, and switchbacks and all that stuff i mean if you're not an experienced driver it's very scary and it's very dangerous so he was driving late at night from guatemala back to esquintla his home and when he was driving late at night he said that he was kind of being a little tired but he wasn't that tired so it's not like he dozed off but he was like oh man i'm tired i should get home soon but when he was driving he said from a distance he sees this dog this thing that looks like a dog and he's like wow that's a big dog so as he's driving he passes this dog and he's like okay well big dog and all of a sudden he looks to his right and he sees this dog shaped entity just running next to him pretty much at the same speed and he was like what the hell he got so scared that he tried to like just shake it off he tried to like drive around it or, or just drive faster but the faster he went the dog just went just as fast and and he was like what is going on he was so scared because he was like oh my gosh this is not a real dog and he said the dog would just make eye contact with him and he had some blood red eyes and he got so scared that he pretty much swerved his car to hit it but the dog just i guess vanished or he missed the dog and the car just flipped so many times and went douche 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 something out of an action movie to the point that when he, the car finally stopped spinning he said he got out of the vehicle he looked around and he said i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead i'm dead oh my gosh and he went to look into the car to see if he can find his body just laying there but he didn't see his body and then somebody that was nearby went up to him he's like oh my gosh are you okay and he's like can you see me and the person was like yeah i can see you he's like yeah can we call 911 can we call my family they call this family that you know the ambulance came this guy got just a couple of scratches and bruises the next morning he goes to his parents house knocks on the door dad opens the door hugs him he's like son i'm happy you're well happy you're okay his mom comes out of the room and just hugs him and it's like oh my gosh i'm happy you're okay what happened how'd you get into the car accident my base teacher starts telling them the story but before he got to the dog part the mom just goes like shut up shut up shut up oh my gosh don't tell me and he's like okay his mom was like i had a dream the other night that you were driving late at night and there was a dog entity following you trying to kill you trying to torment you wanting you dead and i woke up from that nightmare and i was so scared that i started praying in tongues and i started praying and counseling in a demonic attack and then I, I i just couldn't go to sleep for the rest of the night and all of a sudden i get the call that you got in this car accident and then my base teacher was like mom shut the front door that's exactly what 
happen. It is so crazy that this actually happened and it's not a story that was make-believe. I was there when my teacher got into the car accident. I saw him the next day. I saw his car, but the fact that he saw this dog entity just pretty much chasing him down and his mom had a dream that a dog entity wanted to kill him and the mom woke up to pray. I mean, look, I don't know what you believe in, but there's power in prayer. And the fact that this nightmare was more of a vision and a warning than an actual nightmare to torment somebody. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Such a crazy happening. I mean, it's just scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know, I know. It's a, it's scary. I mean, before I continue, I do want to talk about uh, what is skinwalkers. I didn't know that skinwalkers can appear as dogs and other entities. And now that I'm older and it's been like 20 years that I've heard this story, since I've heard this story, that this happened to my bass teacher, my music teacher. I can put it together now. I was like, this could have been a skinwalker. But I never heard of cases of skinwalker in Latin America. This was in Guatemala. I don't know. Let me know if there's cases of skinwalkers uh, in Guatemala in the comment section down below. This next story really messed me up and it was told by an uncle of mine. We all have that deal that just gets drunk at every party, gets just <laughs> belligerent at every party. But these deals always have the best scary stories and just stories in general. If you don't know what a deal is, that's Mexican or Spanish for uncles. <laughs> So my tío comes up to me and he tells me, Mijo, I want to tell you this really crazy ghost story. I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. So we sit down. Of course, I was like 13, 12. I mean, I wasn't drinking at the time. And he's like, sit down. Let me tell you, I have a co-worker in mind. I'm like, oh my gosh, she's going to tell me something stupid. But no, this is what he told me. And yes, my tío talks like that. Yeah, he talks like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Turns out this friend of his has a drawing of his family, of his ancestors, his first generation family that came from, I think, Ireland that came to the East Coast and then migrated to the West Coast, which is LA. But this, this co-worker of his inherited this painting. And this painting, you see the first people that came to this country. You see his great-grandfather, his great-grandmother, you know, their, their, their offspring. And there was an uncle that they had there, the great uncle. But in the painting, this great uncle had a face of a, of, of a demonic pig or a demonic just face that looks so scary and every time that he would show this picture to my Theo or to everybody at the workplace they'll be like yo man put it away it's so eerie so scary I did not see this picture and thank God because I don't know how I would handle that information to be honest but this is how the story goes his co-worker was throwing a party and then he invited everybody over my Theo was there and everybody was there so they're throwing a party they're having fun and this was like a, a pretty big house in, in the in the Hollywood Hills and they're just celebrating they're throwing a party and all of a sudden this co-worker Worker goes to my uncle and he's like, "Hey man, um, I feel I feel weird." He's like, "Oh man, it's okay, you know, you know, you've been drinking, everything's okay." No, no, no. Uh, I just I just feel weird. Like I feel like there's something in the house that that just doesn't feel right. It feels kind of like angry and and vengeful. And my tío's like, "No, no, no, that's some brujería stuff. That's some witchcraft stuff. But not here." And he's like, "No, no, no, come with me." So he takes my uncle to the second floor that oversees um, Hollywood Hills. And once my uncle went to like that second floor, he said he felt like there was this oppression, this angry spirit and something weird and he just didn't know what the hell was going on so my uncle and his co-worker were like yo man let, let, let's let's get down let's get away from here so they go down they're throwing a party everything's you know chilling 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 after a couple of drinks his friend starts the story of the demonic uh a pig face drawing and he's like yeah man i got this drawing that came from my ancestors do y'all want to see it and everybody's like yeah yeah let's show it show it show it so he tells his my uncle hey come with me come go come get the painting so they go upstairs and when they get up upstairs they're looking for the painting he has it saved in this closet where not everybody goes into but he couldn't find the painting anywhere nowhere to be found but when he was upstairs he said he heard three knocks some loud knocks douche 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 my uncle's friend didn't know what that means doesn't know what that means but my uncle was like hey hey hey, hey bro that's not cool man he's like what are you talking about three knocks it's like yeah what about it he's like three knocks man that you know that's what demonic people do, satanic people do to mock, to mock the, you know, Jesus on the cross dying. He's like, what time is it? And my friend, his friend is like, oh, it's 3 a.m. And he's like, no, no, man, we don't play this stuff right now. And then my, my friend's uncle's like, nah, nah, it's nothing, nothing. And all of a sudden, the painting just falls, boosh. And they both just stand still. And they're like, where did that sound come from? He's like, it came from the closet. And my uncle was like, we just came from the closet. There's nothing there. He's like, yeah. So they go back to the closet, they open it, and it's the painting. The freaking painting somehow appeared in the closet. My uncle's friend takes the painting, goes downstairs, and shows it to everybody. 
everybody. He's like, look, look, this is the painting. It's creepy. And my uncle says, like, it's just the most eeriest painting that there ever was, especially with that pig face just being there. And it's just weird. So everybody starts to leave the house. So my uncle's like, hey, I'm going to leave. And my his friend was like, no, no, just crash on the couch. Okay. They go to sleep. But my uncle says the whole night, he just felt like something was looking for him through the windows, walking around the house. You hear bushes cracking. He'll just feel just uneasy. And his friend apparently felt the same thing being on the second floor that somebody was just watching him sleep. Somebody just didn't let him sleep. Somebody was tormenting him. Something, something was there. Something was eerie. So the next morning they wake up, they're hung over AF. And all of a sudden the phone rings. My uncle's friend go picks it up. It's like, hey. And then it's like, hey, it's your mother. And he's like, oh, hey mom, how are you? She's like, are you guys okay? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? What's up? It's like, oh my gosh, son, 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 son. You're not going to believe it. What happened, mother? He's like, I had a dream last night. He's like, okay, what's the dream? He's like, you know that painting of your uncle? What uncle? And she's like, you know, the pig face uncle. And he's like, what about it? And she's like, you're not going to believe it. But last night I had a dream. That demon was running around your house, in and out and around your house, waiting, hurt you and torment you and scare you. So I woke up and I just said, Jesus, cover, I cover my son in the blood of Christ. And I just couldn't go back to sleep. And then my uncle's friend is like, mom, last night, something knocked on my window three times and the painting just appeared out of nowhere. And the mother's like, I knew it. Your great uncle, that demonic uncle was just trying to torment you and scare you. Woo! Yep. I don't know what you guys think about these stories. Give me your honest opinion down below. I'm just a messenger. I think they're crazy stories of dreams and nightmares being warning signs and just kind of giving everybody like a, hey, there's this stuff happening. Be careful. I'm giving you a warning. Man, these are some of my favorite ghost stories or my favorite demonic uh, nightmare dream stories. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to end this right here. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Let me know what you think about these stories. Put them in the comment section down below. Have you had a crazy nightmare or uh, a dream or a vision? Write it down in the comment section down below. I would love to read it and talk to you there. Love you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, love you. Be safe. God bless. And I'll see you guys. All right. Bye.